On today's episode, we're making this. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Rasco Garage. We got another episode coming. We're gonna do some fabricating today. Uh, we're going to be making a three into one merge collector out of 304 stainless. That's gonna be for a set of headers for my E36 M3. The, today's video is going to entail how to make a three into one collector. What do you have to do to get those pipes to merge together? So I'm gonna show you a couple things that, that I've learned and how you put it together. So you're gonna need a couple tools. Obviously you're gonna need a saw, chop saw, band saw, um, what have you. Cutting jig, I would highly recommend it so you can hold the tube in place. Um, and you're gonna need a digital angle finder, which I have here. I'll show you this more in depth when we get to the cutting of the actual tube itself. But I have a couple of tubes that I've already cut, but this takes a basic understanding of some geometry, which I wanna go show you guys right now. So come on over. So, I got one set, one set of collectors already cut and prepped. I had it pinned together, but, so now you can see the, the cuts that we're after. So I'm gonna explain to you how that that process works. So, because we have to get three going in to one. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start with the whole tube, right? So we're starting with the tube in this orientation, right? The circumference of this tube is 360 degrees, right? It's the whole tube. So that's our starting point. So the first thing we're gonna do when we put it in the saw is we're gonna make our initial cut, which is in, this orientation here, which basically we're going to cut 180 degrees off of this tube. So then we're left with basically half a tube. So basically what we're trying to do here is we're gonna take 360 degrees, we're gonna divide that by three, and that's gonna give us 120. So when we put our three tubes together that have 120 degrees left of material that's going to add up to 360 degrees it's going to form the original tube diameter of 1.75 inches which is this runner diameter and that's going to allow us to merge these three into one so like i said so I'll, when we go over the cutting jig i'll show you how we set up the cuts but the first cut is here right we're going to cut 180 degrees so we're going to cut this tube in half basically here and once we have that then we're gonna have to make another cut so then we rotate the tube and we get a second cut here and our second cut notice that we go from 180 to 120 degrees remaining of the tube so we're gonna cut an additional 60 degrees off the tube and that's gonna give you you a tube that looks like this and when you clamp it, it's gonna go together. Let's see if I can show you so you can see how they merge together without tipping it over. So it's gonna form just like this. There we go. That's how they go together. And then the third one will meet right here. Obviously I need two hands to do, <laughs> to do all that part, but that's the, that's the basic geometry part of this process. So let's jump over to the bandsaw and the type of collectors we're gonna make. It's a three to one, but it's important to note the angle of which the tubes merge together. So the ideal angle of the merge to maximize flow, I think it's 11 and a half degrees. So I have my jig set up for 12 degrees. So close enough, I'll show you what it looks like here. So I have another video, I can drop the link right here of how to make this. I will, so, put it in there like so. And then I just take the channel locks and lock 
it into place. So then we are good to go. So like I said, the first cut we're gonna make, we're gonna make our 180 degree cut. So we're gonna slice it right down the spine here. So another thing to be cautious of is when you drop your saw on it, take your time getting the first initial cut going because the blade will actually have some flexion and the blade could bow one way or another, typically outward, and you're gonna have a kind of a concave cut. So just take your time, let the blade get started, and then let it go. So let's get that going right now. All right, so now that we have our first cut made. Okay, so it's still in the clamp here, right? We cut off 180 degrees from this tube here. So we can do one of two things to achieve the, we need to remove 60 more degrees from this tube itself, right? Because we're trying to get after our goal of 120 degrees. That's what we need to merge these three tubes together. So let's get this thing on stuck. Get all the metal out there. Okay, so you can do it one or two ways. You can go from this 180 degree mark and you could rotate the pipe 60 degrees. Okay, that solves it. That gets you to 120 degrees right here and you can make a cut. Or you could start from the 90 degree angle and you could rotate it 30 degrees this way. That's the way I prefer. So now I get the tube in there. Now you can see where we're at. Wow, that was really lucky to get it to fall right on 30 degrees here. So, you just gotta make sure you get it in there. I try to get it within half a degree. Half a degree, you know, we can put it on the sander and, and clean it up a little bit. So, that is pretty good. So, I gotta put this down so I can actually clamp it. Or, just to show you the other method, I can go from, from this direction here, right, which will be down here at 90 degrees, and we'll locate this back to, oops, excuse me, 60 degrees. This does the exact same thing. Or you wrote, excuse me, you rotate it 60 degrees and it gets you back to 30 degrees here, right? Or you start at zero, and you go to 30, right? Either one of those methods is going to take 60 more degrees out of this tube and you'll get what we have on the bench. All right, when you look at it here, this is gonna be the final outcome here. So this one's already ready to go. So I'm getting this one put together because we're gonna throw some tacks on this one here momentarily and then we're going to tack all these three pieces together and get it fit up nicely and get it ready to completely weld up so let's make the cut let's get the second cut going on this one and we'll jump back onto the bench when this one's done uh, just so you can see it and then we'll tack that one and get that one put together all right so that Cut is complete on this one. All right, so a little bit of cleanup work needs to be done here, but this one is done nonetheless. So let's cruise back over to the bench. Now we have this one that we already cut and tubes, everything's prepped to go. So I got this one clamped in place. We're gonna throw a tack on this one. Let's fit the other tube up, get everything tacked up, fit together. Once we get the fitment uh, that we're happy with, we can start to back purge it and let's throw some beads down on this thing and get it together.
All right, we got this thing tacked up. I uh, apologize for the noise. The welder is on. But we got this thing fit up. See it. Still got some little gaps in there, but we can tighten those up. That's no problem. You can see how the three tubes come back and merge pretty much into one. This is going to be our setup here. So what we're going to do is once we get this thing welded up and ready to go, we're going to find this mark here and you can see that we're going to have to cut off quite a bit of this. So these things are six inch. When we're done, we're probably going to be left with about four inches here, total collector size. So we'll have that thing fitted in there. That's going to be our three to one. Uh, 1.75 inch runners off of the exhaust manifold itself. And then this is going to go into a two and a half inch. And that's going to mate up uh, to the mid pipe that we've got working on over here. So two and a one. So this is two and a half inch. So two and a half, two and a half into a single two and a half all the way back. So no casts, no nothing. That's how it's going to be uh, set up in the car. So this is the front portion of the mid pipe. Got a little bit more to go before we uh, made it to the exhaust hangers, but that's what these headers are going to go into. So, like I said, a little bit more of a process, but for now, let's throw some more tacks on there and let's weld this thing up. Okay, just got one part of the collector welded up here. So far, so good. Beads look pretty good. I think penetration's pretty good. All right, let's flip it over and get the other two done. So one piece of equipment I would highly recommend if you want to make collectors yourself in your home garage, uh, investing in a micro torch is highly recommended because uh, getting inside here to fill up the gaps and everything that you need to fully seal up this merge collector with the 12 degree uh, merge of these tubes 
you're gonna have to weld it from the inside so one of these micro torches from CK Worldwide are a really good investment this is one of the lower range ones or uh, more affordable ones if you will I think it goes up to 70 amps which is more than more than enough for 065 wall for this type of application so yep doing the micro torch to get this thing all sealed up on the inside get it nice and airtight so we don't have any leaks all right so here is the finished product our three into one collector we have um, 1.75 inch runners and it's gonna go into uh, two and a half inch so our two and a half inch here nice fit up and you can see inside here let's see if we can get some light on it so you have to weld so because this thing is 12 degrees, you can only get your torch so far from the from the outside here. So you're gonna need to go from the inside to finish up the rest of the welds. So the welds aren't, you know, super pretty on the inside, but we just sand all that stuff down so the flow's nice. So now there's no leaks, it's fully sealed. We got to sand it up nice so the flow is good. Not too many imperfections in there from that standpoint. Welds on the outside, they all look pretty nice. So this one is ready. Okay, so that does it for today's episode. We made our three into one collector. So now we got that step done. You know the deal, like, comment, subscribe, support the channel. Rascal Garage, we're trying to push out more content. Check us out on the new website at rascogarage.com. I have two exhaust systems for the E36 uh, available for purchase now. So please give that a look. If you get a second, appreciate the support. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.